So hello, everyone. It is so nice to be able to bring Passover greetings to you. I know this is a weird Passover, and I know many of us are not able to be with our family and friends, with our loved ones, the way we, we wish we could be. But I want you to know that we at Fairmont Temple are here, still here to help you and support you and want to be with you during this Passover. So I just want to say, give you a few examples of the way Passover is particularly inspiring me this year. We know the Passover story is all about our, our ancestors who lived through a really difficult time and made it through to the other side. And I know some of us are feeling enslaved and really feel weighed down by our current situation, but there is hope. They got to a better place and we will too. One of our messages to you is really twofold. On the one hand, anything goes. Don't go to the grocery store. Use what you have at home. If you don't have a, a hard boiled egg, use a potato. If you don't have a potato, use an apple, use an orange, use a golf ball, use whatever you have. On the other hand, we want to communicate that this is your savior. And even though you may be accustomed to opening your home, to your family, to friends, to loved ones, if it's just you, or just you and one more person, or just you and your nuclear family, it's still a Seder. Set the table. Put out your candlesticks, your kiddush cup, the Seder plate. Anything can be substituted. And if you don't have a shank bone, and you don't have a chicken bone, put a picture of a bone on the Seder plate. It's okay. But make it Seder. And if you don't have china and crystal, you can use paper plates, but it's yours. Participate, read aloud, sing aloud, sing with all your heart and soul, and make it your own. This is an unusual opportunity, and it is a Seder you will never forget. And if after that first night at the Seder, you're still hungry for more, we at uh, Fairmount Temple are featuring our first ever uh, second night virtual Seder. We'd love for you to join us. We've already have uh, more than 80 people who will be attending the Seder. We'd love to have more. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to see each other. We'll be able to see each other's faces and join together in singing some of the um, classic parts of the Haggadah. And um, if you're living alone or if you're, you have a small circle that you're living with right now because you're all hunkered down, um, let's open up that circle and, and we could be part of the larger Fairmount Temple circle. But let everyone who is hungry come and eat. Well, we not, may not be eating together in one space, but we will be sharing the magic of the Passover Seder and sharing the master story that has really defined who we are as Jews. Once we were slaves in Egypt, and soon, yes, soon, we will be free. And if you'd like to join us, just please RSVP uh, to Rebecca Egolf, R E G O L F, E G O L F, at fairmounttemple.org, R E G O L F, at fairmounttemple.org, and we'll send you all the information to join us for our Seder. Chag Sameach, everybody. Have a wonderful Passover. We're wishing you from your clergy, your temple, a very blessed Passover. Hag Sameach. Hag Sameach, everyone. Thank you. Hag Sameach.